so so Alfred, um, you have this thing, done, done, done. Yeah. And and this is like really stuck with me, and it's something that's now part of my philosophy in mm-hmm. my daily life. Mm-hmm. Um, can you talk about that? What that means, and B, um, how you applied it when you started BEA Systems. Um. Well, I started as a software developer, and software is. Um, some people call it art, yeah. But it's a very dangerous um, invention, actually, because it's non-physical, right? So it's a set of logical steps that we um, typed up and put in the computer and let the computer run. Um, over the past few decades, we have become totally reliant on these steps to be flawless, right? And now um, we're developing autonomous vehicle. We have a lot of uh, automated response um, to emergency that based on the software that we have. We have neural nets where we don't even know what's happening inside. We have neural nets. um, We are now rapidly uh, inventing things on artificial intelligence and self-learning. Right. So from a software engineer perspective, there isn't um, room for any half done software. There really isn't room for that at all, right? That is a disaster if your software is half done, half baked. So it's easy to develop this philosophy to think it has to be all done, right. done, done, right? right? So to me, life is too short for half baked things. Yeah. Now, I know in practice, people may not be able to, you know, reliably get everything done all the way through right? for whatever circumstances of life. But it, it's just something that I have a difficult time dealing with. So I, I try to get everything to be like tucked in and all the way done. Right. Mm, I, I think life is too short for half-baked stuff. Right. And uh, do you find that contradicts sort of the, some of the, uh, you know, today's mantra around, you know, move fast and break things and, and just agile and just hack it and, and launch your product, um, you know, without, you know, um, it doesn't need to be perfect, just need to launch something. I think um, in practice, um, several things is critical. Right. Speed is extraordinarily critical. Yeah. And I, I think we should separate speed away from whether things have to be done or done or not. Okay. Now, so the speed p- would be another variable. Oh, I think speed okay. is a totally okay. different variable. Okay. I, okay. And I think there's no reason why you can get everything to be perfectly done fast. Yeah. Right. Life is miserable if is moving slowly. Right. I mean, like, I, I have to be honest with you. I've gotten better. I think maybe just because of uh, it's naturally aging cycle. I used to have such a difficult time in the morning. I woke up and I just fought the whole world in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I struggled with that. I said, well, yeah. why can't we just move faster? I mean, like, obviously, you, yeah. you go travel and all the bureaucracy around, you know, maybe is yeah. unneeded yeah. Yeah. for security and other reasons. Yeah, and, and our air transportation really hasn't improved that much over yeah. the last few decades for the reason is didn't, the plane doesn't really fly any faster and the way that we go into the airport and have to also checked in right. and oh my god it's just it's, it's really it's, it's slow um, but um, the one thing we don't have that we can pro- like we cannot produce more is time right? right so we have to really optimize the time that we have I think speed is critical that's true um, I, f- I do on the other on the other hand, believe that fast failed is a critical thing in today's world because as we are what one thing we don't know is as we are inventing so many things now, yeah, and I think the new world order between software and hardware, especially in technology um, innovations, is to allow us to be able to invent things very rapidly. Right. Manufacturing is now fast, yeah, invention is very fast, and our system to support invention is also very fast, yeah, but not all the things are ready for the market. You know, and user adoptions are unknown. So unless you try, you won't know. Right. But I think our intention has to be very clear, though, right? So if we are going in, this is to try the market. It's right. very different from we want to scale and assume it's working. Right. I think when it frustrates people is sometimes in tech is people have 
very audacious claim of stuff. Um, I would say that's all every business. <laughs> I know it's, it's, it's unfortunate. It's so much noise, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, as a as an angel investor in, into many technology business, some some of these um, claims that I've seen are so outrageous. I mean, it's literally sitting in this room, sitting in this table. <laughs> some I hold back as long as I could of not laughing. And then eventually I have to laugh out loud because it's so stupid, right? <laughs> um, the claims that they make. But um, there are things that affect our life that, um, you know, I think in the whole, because of the whole right. transportation world, right. that we're clearly seeing that this is dislocation, yeah. that we may be on the cups of going from fully non-automated vehicle to fully automated vehicle, right. autonomous vehicle. And we are going from, we privately owned individual, like, almost like our own private vehicles that we use yeah. and own and, and leave in the parking lot all day to be now having timeshare vehicles yeah. that they're highly efficient and shared, right? Right. And I think that's almost inevitable that this transition is happening. Now, in between, we're in kind of this gray zone that can be dangerous. And yeah. the the optimists obviously say, we're already there, right? Right. And the car could be driven on its own, you know, totally by itself. Right. But yet, really, the trial has just started. Yeah. And... And the pessimists will say, well, we, you know, all of this is just bogus. But that's not the case either. We know where we're heading to. So, I, I, so I'm, I'm, I'm all good with fast fail and we try stuff. Right. But when you put it in production, yeah. you know, um, sub-quality things, it, it just, it's just terrible to have.